One of the main reasons why people don't watch your videos till the end and also why they click out immediately they start watching your videos is because they simply don't get exactly what they are looking for. However, YouTube just recently rolled out a new feature that I'm so excited about and it's called the video chapter. Now this is going to help the viewer experience, it's going to help viewers find exactly what they are looking for immediately and this would in turn affect your retention rate as well as your watch time. Now if you're someone who has been struggling with retaining your viewers on your videos on your channel this is something you need to start trying. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about it as well as showing you guys exactly how you can start using it, start applying it onto your videos in order to increase your retention rate as well as your watch time. Now if you are interested then you definitely do want to keep on watching. All right, so if you're watching this video, you would obviously see that I have already applied this feature onto this video as well as a couple other of my previous videos. Now, this is amazing because right now you can see that I've already divided this video into about four segments, the intro, the video chapter requirements, how to apply the video chapter onto your videos as well as the outro. Now, this is going to make it easier for you guys to decide on what you want to watch what you want to learn and basically find exactly what you're looking for now i would not advise you to skip on to the end or the mid part because every single section is so important because it's a progress you need to learn exactly what you need to do as well as learn how to then do it so in this video i'm going to be talking all about that as well as showing you guys exactly how you can do that using an actual example so you guys can learn that if that makes sense now this is such an amazing feature for both the audience as well as the creator audience because it's going to help you guys save time it's going to make the content a lot easier to find and to watch at the same time and on the path of the creator it's going to also help you guys to retain your audience and when you have that retention and watch time it's going to affect the algorithm it's going to make the algorithm react positively to your video and to your channel and yeah i do want to say that whenever youtube rolls out features do believe that they've done a lot of testing they've done a lot of practice they've done a lot of behind the scenes and work so you guys i do want to say that you always want to be maximizing all of these little features i know i did a video on finding out the best time to post your content so if youtube ever rolls out a feature make sure that you're taking advantage of it to its fullest trust me okay so before i go ahead to show you exactly how to apply this feature onto your channel and onto your individual videos i want to briefly talk about the chapter requirements what you need to do to make sure that this actually works on your video as well as on your channel in general okay so now the first thing you need to do is to have a video the second thing is to make sure that your timestamps are starting from zero because if it doesn't start from zero it's not going to work it's not going to break or segment your videos into different chapters the third thing is that you need to have at least three chapters for it to work and for it to be effective the fourth one is that youtube requires you to have a minimum of 10 seconds before or after each chapter so your each chapter cannot be less than 10 seconds which i think is I think it's doable right so now that we've gotten that out of the way i want to just go over to my laptop and show you guys exactly how to apply this feature onto your channel guys this is the easiest thing to do so before we go ahead i want to give you guys my personal tip because i feel like this would definitely make the entire chapter um, experience and feature easy to work with and easy to apply on your channel so if you're someone who edits by yourself once you're done editing when you're doing your final edit just get a piece of paper and jot down the breaks or the chapters that you want to apply that way when you've uploaded it it's a lot easier to copy and paste that down all right so the first requirement is for you to have a video to actually work with again you guys can skip back to the previous chapter requirement you can skip to the previous chapter you can see how i'm using that chapter in this video you can also use this to increase your watch time like i previously said but we're gonna have a video to work with now what you want to do is to go over to the edit over here we're going to be editing the description because we want to put the timestamps in the description so i'm going to click on my details so that way we can edit this video so now that we have the edits open we're going to be working with the description here this is where i'm going to be putting in 
the timestamps. Now you can put your timestamps wherever you want to put it. The beginning, the middle, the end, it's your decision. But I'm just going to put it, let me just put it right here after I have introduced and talked about this video. Skip that again, okay. So I'm just going to be opening up the video just so we can preview the video once again. So what I want to do now is to preview this video and look at the areas where I want to add a timestamp or chapter to it or a break into it. Now, but before we do that, let me just watch this ad. Start. I'll show you how. First. So I don't know if you guys can see this video, but this video currently has no chapters on it we're going to be changing it we're going to be optimizing this content again by putting timestamps by putting chapters you're also optimizing your videos and i'm going to be showing you how we're going to be doing that so i'm just going to preview this video again and see exactly the chapters where we are starting from and what's not so the first thing like i said is we want to always start from zero seconds so i'm just going to put zero 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 right there may be people like a hyphen right this is going to be our intro this is where we do um talk about what the video is about um i put in my intro i i maybe talk for like 20 seconds so for the second chapter i'm just going to quickly scroll through this timeline to find exactly where i want to add again this is why i okay though this is camera right so camera starts at this is one minute 37 seconds so i'm just going to put that zero one minute 37 seconds and write camera right so we can put filming camera camera for youtube you let me just put camera for youtube because we will always want to make sure that we're optimizing our content camera for youtube right then we're going to also just scroll through again to see what next we talked about okay so we have lenses now lenses started at um let's say 3 17 3 minutes 17 seconds let's put that zero three minutes and 17 seconds we talk about camera lenses right so that's what we're going to keep on doing again let me look for the next thing okay so now we have lighting lighting is at um three eight minutes 13 seconds so let's just do that zero eight minutes and 13 seconds that is lighting for youtube videos right this is going to complete this entire thing off camera so that way i don't waste you guys time <laughs> so now that i have all of these intact this is what your chapter format should look like again you want to start off by we don't want to start up with zero seconds right and this is what it should look like so i'm just going to save it down and make sure it's precise to your own video so let me just refresh the page so that we can now see how this works okay so i just refreshed the page so i don't know if you guys can see this little breaks on the progress bar but just by looking at it, you can see that youtube has already broken down this entire video into different chapters and based on the timestamps that we've put out so now we can see that this is the intro this is the camera for youtube camera lenses this is the lighting for youtube videos this section is for microphone i don't can you guys see that so if i wanted to skip to uh, i don't know let's talk about lighting let's see what lighting says you can click on lighting we can see that lighting starts at this time if i wanted to learn about lighting i can go up over to where lighting is click on that i want to quickly talk about my lighting and what i have going on so by doing that not only have we made this entire video worth watching it's going to also help you guys the audience find out precisely exactly 
what you're looking for so if you are looking for lighting you know where to find that if you are looking for lenses you know how to find that so you can apply this same trick to whatever content your vlog your cooking um, videos the if you're doing cooking for instance you can write the intro ingredients recipe process outcome all of that if you're doing vlogs for instance um cooking while at home sleeping or reading a book while at home um going out with friends you can put that those chapters in your videos if you're doing a clothing haul and you're featuring like 10 brands you can do asos chapter one um primark chapter two misguided chapter three zara chapter five you can do that that way you're going to also help your seo that's your search engine optimization it's going to make your content a lot more visible that way youtube also knows the kind of content what your content is about that way you're helping your entire um viewing experience so yeah um that is the end of this video i hope it is as descriptive and as informative as i hoped and i wanted it to be i do want you guys to take advantage of this feature because it is going to be a lifesaver i know marketing and i know that this would help in terms of seo as well as help enhance viewers experience and once you can enhance viewers experience and then enhance your seo it's going to work to your own advantage so if you guys enjoyed this video if this video was as descriptive and as informative as i hope let me know by giving me a thumbs up also feel free to subscribe to my video right here if you haven't watched my previous videos then feel free to check them out over here i'll leave my favorite 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 playlist over here so you guys can get started with starting and growing your youtube channel here if you guys are new here please not leave without subscribing i'd really appreciate it if you stick around with me by subscribing to my channel you can definitely click on this link right here to subscribe it is free and also check out my other videos on how to get started with as well as set up your youtube studio on a budget if you guys like my face you like what you're seeing then please do stick around with me and i can't wait to see you guys in these other videos so yeah let's go